Greetings everyone, this is Darth Redbeard. Well, I decided to do a little bit of a classic. We will be playing Call of Duty. The very first Call of Duty at that. <laughs> Back when no one really cared what game you made as long as it was fun. And no, I will not be doing multiplayer. Alright. Alright. I will be doing regular on this. I... I'm gonna be honest, I suck at shooting games. That's why I'm doing regular. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the first few missions for this video and then we'll go from there, but alright. August 9th, 1942. Camp Toka, Georgia. More long marches tomorrow, then obstacles with Captain Foley, and then weapon training with Sergeant Moody. Everyone is dead tired. Another guy got RTU returned to unit yesterday. He begged the sergeant to let him stay. My unit, the 506 Paratrooper Regiment, is an all-volunteer unit. I'm lucky to serve with these guys. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. Our officers drill us constantly. I've trained for months, and I haven't even jumped out of an airplane yet. The Army has never had an airborne unit before. And... <clears throat> gotta get a cat off here real quick. And that makes the brass nervous. And what makes the brass nervous makes us drill even harder. Alright, you ready? Alright, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Alright, use grenades to flush out hard points. True. Attack, attack, tick, attack. Move together as a team. Don't make the same mistake. Always move from cover to cover. Always reload before going into battle. Good. Suppress now then check flank. your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. Move five paces to the left. Now five to the right. Five paces forwards. Five paces backwards. Approach your current objective. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! Martin, good to see you. They got your sorry butt here too, huh? Hey, good luck. Move it, ladies! This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance! Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. <laughs> I'm quicker than everyone. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns. Five rounds, boy. Stay low. Stay down. Dang, they know how to motivate you, don't they? Fly me, ladders, privates. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. Sheesh, everyone else is slower than me. All right, time for weapons. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crossbows. Fire six more rounds at your target in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving and in the crouching or prone position. These skills could mean your life. When your magazine is empty, your weapon will reload automatically. Right. 
All right, Private. Move on to the next area. Yeah, that's not easy. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. All right, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons. Besides your sidearm and grenade. Fire ten rounds at your target. First from the hip, then aim down the gun side. Compare your accuracy to firing both ways. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're gonna move slower this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now switch weapons, Private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. Make the wrong choice and you could buy the farm. Fire three more rounds at your target. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the concrete post and lead out to the left, then the right. This will help protect you from the enemy. Move on to the next area. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Place your explosives on the cinder block wall. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Fire in the hole! Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Ugh. War is a series of catastrophes which result in victory. George Clemency. So, okay, I cannot read that very well. I do apologize. All right, we're going to go through like another mission or two, and then that'll probably be it. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord. The air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H-hour D-Day, Seaborne Infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H-hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. 
so I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. All right, June 5th, 1944, 1800 Iros. Greenham Common, England. In about three hours, I will be in Normandy. As one of the Pathfinders for my unit, I'll be landing ahead of the main airborne force. The Pathfinders land before the main force and place beacons on the landing fields to guide the rest of the pilots and paratroopers in. The brass are sending the airborne in first in the early hours of the morning to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. At first light, the main force of the invasion will hit the beaches. For weeks, the entire invasion force, more than 175,000 men, has been cooped up in forbidden contact with anyone outside with nothing to do but memorize maps and battle plans. We're all quite eager to be in France. A few hours ago, General Eisenhower paid us a visit. If we pull, this, pull all this off, the Germans are in for one hell of a surprise. Okay, what actually happened was during the uh, airborne attack, and this will be mentioned in another journal or two, but all the airborne units are going to be scattered. They're not, many times it's going to be them forming up mixed companies and everything just to try and achieve the objectives. And it does not go as smoothly as planned. There's actually, I think, a report of at least one plane that actually dropped all of its soldiers into the English Channel, but I'm going to have to look that up to learn more about it, but a lot of this stuff seemed to happen, but when <laughs> it's probably one of the largest airborne attacks ever, I mean, you never know what's going to happen, because many planes were shot down, and <laughs> heck, you'd have Times soldiers might accidentally land in trees and get spotted and shot. And stuff like this would happen. I mean, you're doing an airborne invasion at night, and you're not going to see it. I mean, Pathfinders were sent in first, and with everyone being scattered, yeah, you had to make do with what you had to do. I mean... I guess it all comes down to the training of the soldier. But here we go. Starting the paratrooper landings of D-Day. Okay, normally that guy would be uh, relieving himself here, but... I do like the architecture they do here. Schon seit Wochen bombardieren. Na und? Sie bombardieren doch alles. 
was sollte die hier schon besonders interessieren? Okay, that was mean of me, I think. Rockets on there. Babies. Set. Panzer Kommando on Bunker 6. Geben Sie Flieger Alarm. Der Feind fliegt Luftangriffe. Alright. About to see the airborne. Alright. This is how it starts. things never be afraid the enemy who forces you to retreat is his is himself afraid of you at that very moment all right next level all right d-day oh 20 hours nobody seems to have dropped where they were supposed to i haven't seen anyone from my unit yet but luckily i've hooked up with some of the guys from baker company we also have men from Abel, Dog, and Fox companies with us. What a mess. We're getting ready to capture the village of St. Mary Glees, about five miles from Utah Beach. We're approaching through a narrow field with minefields on each side. Captain Foley says there's two platoons of German paratroopers in that village. I'd say we've got a serious fight ahead of us. The roads to St. Mary Glee connect Utah Beach to the main highway of the peninsula, which should put us right in the path of the most likely German counterattack. 
as I mentioned before, it's where everyone got scattered. Where it mentioned here, but yeah, it is. A, it was a whole mess, but somehow they're able to do their job. But yay! I'll be dealing with two groups of German Fallschirmjägers. Uh, that's gonna be fun. But hopefully, I did my pronunciation right. Um, uh, hopefully, someone will notice. <laughs> but yeah, never underestimate the German Fallschirmjägers. Alright guys, get set to move. On my command. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Let's go, let's go! Literally trying here. Yeah, I do not do good at this. Yeah, I know a lot of people ask, what's up with Americans and shooting officers? a pastime. Clear that Stay building! Rolling. Get that gunner on the half-track and let's go! Everybody go! Ah. weapons but right flank she it's like I'm playing whack-a-mole here
course, deal with spam a lot. Mark, land your explosives and take that block banter out. Stand back! Fire in the hole! Ding dong, the panther's dead. Right. Fellas, take five, but listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies okay. in mind. He's 80 seconds. Good works. The object objective of war is to not die for your country, but to make the other bastard die for his. General George S. Patton. Alright, the reason I was looking at the arm patches is because right now we're at a mixed unit of 101st and 82nd. The AA All-American is the 82nd. And of course the 101st is the Screaming Eagles. But the 82nd started... It was an infantry regiment back in the First World War more, but I gotta look it up. I think they started further back than the um, World War One, but supposedly the Big Red one, at the very least, started all the way back towards the Revolution, but 
I'll double check that one too. All right, one more level. All right, D Day, oh five hundred hours, Saint Mary Lee. The boys on the beaches must have landed by now. They are only a few miles away, but right now that seems like a million. We don't have a radio and are completely cut off. Captain Foley was right. We did face a platoon or more German paratroopers when we took this village last night. Today we hold it against German counterattack. Our defenses are all stolen MG enemy MG-42s, Panzerfaust for anti-tank defense, and the village itself. The Air Force and Navy put on quite a show this morning, pounding the hell out of those beaches. One thing is certain, the Germans know we are here. Whether that means they will turn tail and run, or come swarming out of the woodwork, we are about to find out. And this is not going to be easy. Up, get up! Wake and shake it! Mortars are taking a break. Johnson, go have a look. Right, Captain. Got him. I'm a stormtrooper with these things. Got it! Finally! It's tougher. Hold the church. Always want to get health. I need another gun. Okay, give me the M1 here.
We're counterattacking. I watched that. Regroup! Regroup! Over here! Nice work! Okay, that was my answer. is 80 seconds. Sir, we just spotted German mortar teams to the south. I say we move in quick and take them out. Nice one, Parker. Okay, guys, be ready to use any grenades you have left. Put down suppressing fire only if you need to. Do not waste your ammo. All right, let's put those mortars out of business.
We're here. Get in the car. Martin, over here. Get in the car. Okay, Captain. Assuming we get back to battalion in this rolling junkyard, what do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relieved soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir, you bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh, man, this is nuts. I can't believe we're doing this. Believe it. Unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job. Okay, one more mission. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising up every time we fail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Okay. Alright, HQ, no radio, respond with orders ASAP. Jeep, gun battery here, still intact. At 040 hours, contact with approximately two platoons of Falsham. Falsham, village secured at 0130. Enemy remnants fled south, e east, my strength, 20 men, 4 enemy. Jeez, 0600 hours, enemy attack from redirection, two platoons and Falsham with tank. Alright, last mission, then I'm stopping. Here we go. Car ride!
your ass out! Let's go, Martin! Move it! Move! I can't believe I agreed to do this! You didn't. Steal a car? Only when I need one, Sarge. Martin, cover him! Damn it, Elder! Hurry up! I'm working, Sarge! I'm working on it! Quit working and get done! God, this, this is on you! I got it! I got it! Yeah, well, don't get it on me! In the car! Martin, cover us! Step on it! Get us out of here! We gotta go report in to Major Shepard and get our orders. Take five, but stay put. Okie doke, Sarge. What the hell else am I gonna do? Whew. When you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. Alright, I'm gonna start it, but doesn't mean I'm gonna play it, okay? But, yeah. Third squad. Okay. I think that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this. I will be playing again. Probably do another video again soon with it. But yeah, I'm going to try and do like my two favorite Call of Duties, which is this one and the next Call of Duty, United Offensive. Yeah. I think I might do a lower level on the next game. Sorry. I really suck at this, and I'm dying way too quick now. But, yeah. I will see you all for the next video, and hope you all enjoy this. I will also be working on the next episode of The Old Republic and American Truck Simulator, and I will do what I can. I hope you all have a good day, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join which will help the channel a little bit. I will get my Patreon set up soon and go from there. And, <laughs> and if you want better content, uh, I will suggest uh, watching my good friend Euclid with Metro 
Stalker and Chernobylite. And <laughs> I'll be honest, he does better than me. And like I said, if you if you want good live streams, subscribe to his channel. And well, you'll see us mess with him quite a bit. But yeah, also, um, shout out to the, my subscribers, even though there's only a few of you all, you all show that you do enjoy some of my content, and I hope you all enjoy this. I will see you all in the next video. Have a good day.